I'll go on to Visual Boy Advance. Oh, by the way, about that Bramble Blast, uh, a user named Shy Koopa um, has already did the Bramble Blast history uh, <coughs> uh, music, so uh, check out his channel. It should be in there. That's why I didn't get too excited about recording it. But anyway, whatever. Uh, back to Visual Boy Advance. You want to open up a ROM. As you can see, I don't have very many Game Boy Advance ROMs because I... Uh, I really didn't need that many Game Boy Advance games for my Melee History Project and quite frankly I don't have time to really be playing a lot of video games especially not now since I'm getting ready to go to Japan here in about two weeks but uh, anyway whatever enough of my excuses for not having Game Boy Advance ROMs that's kinda silly I guess um, let's open one of them up hell let's go open the Japanese version of Mother 3 why not um, first things first you want to go to options and then joypad configure and then number one and I kinda configure it like how my NES emulator is configured actually it looks like it oops looks like it already pretty much is configured that way so, uh, except the L needs to be this select no Where the hell? Okay, there we go. Guess I wasn't hitting it hard enough. So anyway, that's done. And now the way you record is not in a file menu like the other two. You have to go to Tools and then go to Record and start AVI recording. And then, like the other two, it'll ask you to select an AVI file name or type one in, whatever. frames uncompressed we'll compress it later and then it should start recording let's go Kana how do I select Kana? there we go let's put Lucas's name in Katakana except I don't see it a roo there we go Where's Ka? Ka Ka. Alright. Alright, well, point is, this is how you record, so I think that's enough. Then go to Tools and stop ABI recording. Oh, and by the way, um, in all the emulators, you can maximize it. Um, the reason I didn't do that is because it takes up more processing power and slows the game down even more. Um, on pretty much all computers, this really isn't an issue, but I'm running Cam Studio, excuse me, Camtasia Studio in the background, and uh, you don't really get to see like all the screen unless I restore it to like its original size, and it also runs better that way too. I don't know why I keep on saying that, Cam Studio, Camtasia. Okay. At any rate, that's how you record. So I'm going to close this ROM for now. And then I'm going to... Actually, I shouldn't have done that because I meant to talk about um, save states. Let's just open Pokemon Ruby. Actually, no. Do game Sealed Sword. okay save states save game and it'll give you slots just like SNES 9X alright
Okay, say I didn't want to do that. Um, so you go back and load game. And as I explained in the other two, which I'm not going to explain again, this is helpful because um, you can save at many points in the game and you can jump to pretty much whatever point you want to as long as you remember to save at that point. Um, let's close this game. And by the way, um, while I'm at it, I'm sure you've pre pretty much figured out that I'm going to talk about um, battery saves and all that. Uh, you're, many of you asked why that game is in English, and here's why. Okay, first of all, I'm sure you've noticed there's five different files for this game. Um, the save file, that's the battery save, let's get rid of that. Um, the SGM files are actually save state files. Um, you can't access these, at least I don't, well actually, let's go back. You can actually load and save save state files in Visual Boy Advance and you you also have slots you can use as well so this kind of uh, takes the advantage of both having save state files and save state slots so this is this is provides a lot more flexibility and is a lot easier to work with and of course I'm going back to the files now this is the actual ROM and this is the language patch um, I don't, I'm not sure where I got this from. I just, I think I googled around and found it in English. And what you have to do is, unlike the uh, save state files and the battery saves, you have to have this named exactly the same except for the extension. And when you do that, it'll be patched in English. Um, I find it interesting this game was so easily patched in English when they're having the uh, people who are working on the Mother 3 translation are having so much trouble with the programming and the uh, you know the placement of the text within you know certain uh, space and all that but I don't know whatever I'm not a programmer so I don't know anything but at any rate let's go back and I'll show you how to use actually you know what look at this there's both battery saves and save states let's just do battery saves from now since I'm sure figuring out how to load save state should be self-explanatory. Uh, crap, they don't have Fire Emblem. Uh, what do they have that I have? Pokemon Ruby. This will work. At Route 118 with all Pokemon. Hmm. This one could probably do Victory Road if they have the Pokemon that can, I think, go across that big ocean and then probably up that waterfall, if I remember right. I watched some other people play it, so I kind of know what the game's layout is like. Oh, and you didn't see that. You can delete it. No, bastard. All right. Like I said, I have some old remnants left over from when I made this video the first time, or in second time. Did it extract? I don't remember. Okay. It extracted. And really, um, with Visual Boy Advance, you can keep the... When you load files in it, regardless of what file you're loading, whether it's a save state or a battery save, you can really keep them in just about any folder that you want. Um, I'm just keeping like all the files in the same folder just for the sake of organization and convenience but at any rate let's open up Pokemon Ruby and then again these all have to do with um, save states not battery saves we want to import a battery file and we want to do this Oh, and by the way, when you play games, like for the first time, they'll create a uh, save state automatically for you. Um, so yeah, when you go to, if you go to to uh, use a save state that you downloaded, just be sure you load the one that you downloaded, not your the one that you made automatically. 
And it'll say importing a snapshot file recently save games and reset the emulator. It's just saying like if you um, played a little bit and then you tried to import a game, then um, then let your little bit of progress will be lost, which makes sense. I don't know what the deal is with that corrupt save file, but we'll see. As I said, I'm doing this um, from scratch without any type of rehearsal or anything. Well, actually, I did have rehearsal because I already did this twice, and the video's crapped out on me twice, but we'll see. Ah, here we go. Looks like it worked. Yep, Route 118. See, check out the Pokemon. Latios, Grodon, Rayquaza, Kyogre, Salamence, I guess. That's how you pronounce that. Looks like this person has a pretty good collection of Pokemon. And looks like they're playing using a bike. See where they're at in the world. Yep. If I remember, I think Victory Road is like over here. I'm just talking like if the po if somebody wanted to make a, you know, Victory Mode, <coughs> excuse me, Victory Road music history video, then that that'd be how you do it. Conveniently, without having to play through the entire game. So um, that's pretty much that. Although now that I think about it, did I? Yeah, I think I recorded a movie. Yep, okay, got GBA, NES, and SNES demos. Okay. Now then, I'm going to stop the recording now because I'm sure it's getting pretty long. And uh, in the next video, I'll explain how to process videos recorded from emulators.